You see those dark circles under my eyes? They're kind of poofy. It wasn't like that when I was fasting. It's because I ate too much last night. I fasted for, you know, it doesn't matter. I only do what I do, which is good because of the power of Yah, Yahweh, Jehovah, Jesus Christ, the Lord, Yahshua. I only do the good then when the spirit of the power is upon me. When my flesh is in, involved, there's a dynamic that n- neither has any power at all or substance or worth. I don't, there's no worth in the flesh. That's what brings us to Psalm 108. No faith in flesh is not Psalm 108, but this is about overcoming strongholds. Okay, so where do we look when we want to overcome a stronghold, which is a principality or a design that is for wickedness, and they're all over the place. You've got to know the signs, you've got to know the symbols of the occultists and of the other people. They're not only the occult that's wicked. The B system is pretty much pervasive, but we shouldn't be afraid. We got the power of God. We got the power of the living Jesus Christ, the Lord, the Holy Spirit as a gift, okay? We shouldn't be afraid, but we are. We, we're humans, right? Even his disciples were afraid. And he didn't like that very much. You gotta remember, Jesus didn't like his disciples' fear. And once they experienced the resurrection, they didn't fear very much. But in this world, you say you're gonna have trouble. But I overcame the world. Regardless, I'm a sinner, okay? But anyway... I'm tired of people telling me to go to rehab facilities because of this, the Word of God, who they deny, they deny the Word of God. Anyway, I'll settle down. Okay. Uh, okay, so 108. Where does our salvation come from? The, only the Lord can be the salvation for us. There's no salvation in the government or me, okay? That your beloved ones may be delivered. Give salvation by your right hand and answer me. Now, who is the right hand? If you know the Bible, you will know the right hand of God the Father is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We're not worshiping the sun like pagans. We're worshiping the sun who shines even when the clouds are obfuscating it. So we are going on now. We are realizing that the salvation comes from the mighty hand of God because he wants to set the captives free. That's what Jesus Christ, I came to bring good news for the poor, you know, to set the captives free. That's what he wants to do. Whether you're in prison, whether you're feeling like you're imprisoned in sin, whether you're feeling like you're imprisoned in your living situation, God is more powerful than that. Whether you're feeling you're imprisoned by a heart that's condemning you, God is more powerful than that. He wants us. He wants a a relationship with you. He wants to save everyone. You know that? The Heavenly Father wants to love and save everybody. But I can't do that. People look to me like I'm the one that's going to save them. And this is why I quote to you the 12th verse in the same chapter of 108 Psalm of David, who experienced God's grace and Jesus Christ a thousand years before he even came to the earth. And people still don't believe in him. Anyway... 12. Oh, grant us help against the foe, for vain is the salvation of man. So the help of man is useless, worthless. His help regards no nothing in the heavenly realms. For we can make nothing of a man's help other than idolatry. If he teaches us something about our salvation in the Lord Jesus Christ, then let it be done. But that's why I don't go to no rehab facility. It works for some people, but when the Word of God is under attack, and I know that I'm a child of grace, I'm going to continue. Uh, So now, we know that our help doesn't come from man. It comes from above, as a perfect gift that we don't deserve. His dove was, the dove anointed the Christ's head when he prayed in the, the baptism. And now we have the Holy Spirit to baptize others with. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anyway, Isaiah 53, I wish more Jewish people would read this, um, because then they would see, oh, Yeshua already came, we don't need a Moshiach, but they're not seeing that way, because they don't want to see that way. I didn't want to see the Lord Jesus Christ, but he's revealed himself anyway. That's what he said he would do. Isaiah 53, 5, but he was wounded for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. 
and with his stripes we are healed. For he is the love that was concealed in the Old Testament, the salvation of the right hand. Jesus Christ is that salvation, was that salvation. But since this world is owned by a media system that hates him, we don't get to hear about it very often, but it is the salvation of man to God and the peace. Because he's like a mediator for us when we sin. He's a, uh, a lawyer and he has a heavenly court and an election process that's based on, well, kind of like our election process. He has governing spirits, angels, uh, God himself. And when he reveals himself to you or he chooses you, that's an election. Now, it was purely by grace that I was elected. It wasn't by anything that I did. But he had a plan for his own sake. He saved me for his name and his power and his might, not mine. Uh, because all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Okay. Now, this is about the sinful nature of men's, where our flesh it's inclined towards darkness, shadows, evil, and suppression of the truth. Uh, but the Lord is bigger than all of this and can save. Them. But the Lord, you know, when I say the Lord, it's like, well, Yahweh, you know, Yeshua, the Holy Spirit, all of them, together can save us uh, and divide the darkness from the light and say the light is good stay in the light stay in the light of my love perfect love stay in the life of my life always life you know stay in my grace and mercy if you need mercy go to the mercy because we all need mercy lord you know we need we need it so the strongholds the enemy places on us are based on our works, our shame, our guilt, our pain, our inability to overcome the world when it's already been overcome. Every demon here has already been overcome by the power of Jesus Christ. The kingdom of God is here now, but they won't let us enter. Matthew 23. People say, well, Jesus was kind all the time. Look at Matthew 23 and tell me that. Or how about John 2:15? Read those and tell me that Christ was always just uh, joy, gentle. No. He hated Pharisees, I, I, and especially satanic Pharisees that hurt children. And there's a lot of those in this world. John, okay, it's not by our own power that we do this. We don't overcome the enemy by our will. Anytime we look to our will for help, we're in, in some serious trouble. John 14. Do you hear this? This is Stevie Ray Vaughan, by the way, not Jimi Hendrix. The power of God was working through his guitar. He cut through space into light with his guitar playing. Anyway, praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, 14, 25 to 27. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you, but the helper or the comforter, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring you to remembrance of all that I said to you. Now, this is absolutely true in my experience. Because some days I don't have the word of God on my heart and mind. And some days I'm euphoric and with no reason to be euphoric. No drugs, nothing other than prayer that abides in the word of Christ and the word of the Heavenly Father and the will of the Heavenly Father. And therefore the Holy Spirit gets administered to me. And I experience a deliverance from all evil and wickedness and a peace that passes all understanding and all misunderstandings as well. And then he says, peace I leave with you, in verse 27, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, do I give to you. Because how does the world give us peace? I was like, oh, if you do the right thing, if you do what the world wants you to do, because this is an AI force now, it's not even human based. If you do what the AI wants you to do, it will give you peace and leave you alone. If you don't talk about how the Jewish people own all of the media systems and hate Christ, and that it's being, we're being invaded by Babylonians that want to bring Egypt back and hermaphrodites everywhere and turn tranny kids into trannies and then lift them up like they should be lifting up Christ. If you talk about any of that, then you will be troubled. But he says, I'm not giving you peace like the world gives. So you can disagree with people 
You can get in a uh, persecution of, for the righteousness of the truth, but don't be afraid, he says, because he said, I overcame the world. He overcame the world. You know? He did, in my experience. Uh, the Holy Spirit is, is proper evidence of this. And he is the true vine, not me. But the branch is here to expose the fact that he's the vine, and he is divine, and that he's not just a dude. He's the way, the truth, and the light. No one gets to the Father except through the Son, because the relationship with the Heavenly Father has to be there. And no one has peace, like it said in Isaiah 53, without the salvation of God. And we all go our own way. We all need mercy. No one can have peace without the mercy of God. And Jesus Christ administers justice and mercy. Um, that's the truth. Okay. 21. Peace be with you, my brothers and sisters. Please, Lord, help them. I don't want to pray in front of you like a Pharisee. I'm not a Pharisee. I'm, the, I'm, 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 I'm a sinner, as I said. You know, my, my eyes are swollen because I ate too much. I made my God my belly for a moment, and that was a failure. That was a failure. I failed. Luke 21. But watch yourself, because lest your hearts be weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and cares of this life, and that day come upon you suddenly like a trap. For it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth. But stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place and stand before the Son of Man. So this is a... Uh, I, I brought this into your awareness because I wanted you to realize that our actions are significant. Christ Jesus warned us many times to not be deceived by men and to pray and to fast because it starves demons. You want to starve them demons. You don't want to feed the demon. And the demon loves pleasure of the flesh. Okay. That's what these wicked people love, is the pleasure and the, the lust of life. The eyes are lustful. Above all things, the heart will deceive you. I learned that from fasting. As the, through the power of God, through the power of Yah. I was like, in Jesus Christ, I, in the Holy Spirit, I was able to do that. But then I learned about the, the, the eyes and how they lust after food. And I commit adultery with food. It's pretty sick. Anyway, that's why I say we walk by faith, not by sight. And anyone, I, I, I love unity in the body of Christ, but I don't understand why people attack Paul so much. But I'll forgive them. Because Paul was a, a, a seemingly a man who was fairly adept at watching himself and undergoing much suffering. In this world, you, in my experience, you have suffering if you don't like the way this, the, that it runs and go against it. I don't have a choice. I was like, I'm naturally obstinate towards the world. My dad let me down. I had a very inextricable, highly intense relationship with my dad on earth and it got taken away kind of. And therefore the Heavenly Father revealed himself to me and now I have a relationship with the Heavenly Father that's similar. It's like, I'm, I'm definitely not the Heavenly Father, not saying that, but I want to be one with him all the time. You know, I want to be inseparable. I don't want to be separated. That's part of the alchemy thing. I don't want to be separated from the Heavenly Father. And the Son is the uniting force through all things, connected through all things. The light of life. Jesus Christ's burden is light. He connects all things through light. Anyway, moving on to strongholds now. How do we tear them down? Real quick, I got like... 50 seconds left. It's the, it's the righteousness of the Holy Spirit. It's the righteousness and the full armor of God that was given us as a free gift of grace. That's how we stand. That's how we stand. We do the right thing. We watch ourselves so that we're not deceiving ourselves. Examine yourselves. See what spirit you're in. Remember when Peter was like, should we bring down fire from the heavens, Lord? Because they disobeyed. And the Lord was like, you don't even know what spirit you're in. Test yourselves. Examine yourselves. Find out how to pull down the strongholds. Do heavenly war. Don't fight flesh. Don't fight flesh. I'm warning you now. Fight the strongholds in heavenly places. Because they're there and you have power to do great things in the faith of Jesus Christ. 
the Son of God and the Son of the Morning, this morning star who shines forevermore.